Hi and welcome back to NAS Compare. So today we want to find out about the big differences between NAS hard drives and regular hard drives. Is the whole thing a big con or is there really a difference that you need to take into consideration? So let's get started. Okay, so straight away, if you've been in the field of data storage or dealt with, you know, dealing with hard drives over the last decade or so, you must have seen the difference in all of these hard drives. You know, 10 years ago, all hard drives were the same. When the hard drive was released, there was no such thing as a tailored hard drive. <clears throat> People were utilizing hard drives like WD Blue and Seagate Barracuda and Toshiba Bulk Standard for a great deal of time. And then one day, some people started saying, well, hard drive, this hard drive is specialized for surveillance, this for data centers, this for NAS. And a lot of you out there started thinking, hang on, this sounds a bit like a marketing con. This is like different tires. But that's the point. There is actually a big difference between all these hard drives. And the, what, the comparison I always give when people ask me about it, it's like spoons. Don't get me wrong, the spoons in the cutlery drawer, they can all pre, pretty much be used for the same thing. But there's a reason you have the teaspoon, the dessert spoon, the ladle, all the different kinds of spoon. The reason being because you need a, an item, you need a, a tool that is designed for the task, for the optimal and most efficient use. And that is the difference between these two drives. Because until tailored hard drives came around it wasn't the technology between hard drives wasn't anywhere near sophisticated enough to tailor a drive also the demand wasn't there but over the course of the last decade we have seen hard drives used in a multitude of different ways and particularly with the excelling of solid state drives or ssd we can see that the drives and the media themselves are becoming far more designed in favor of the way the intended purpose was going to be. You have hard drives at the North Bloody Pole that have to be temperature sensitive. You have hard drives that are on for decades, I'm sorry, years at a time. And you have other hard drives that are utilized for mere moments but require insane speeds. And that's why tailored hard drives exist, which brings us back to the original question. What is the main difference between these drives? And why can't you just fully populate your NAS with standard hard drives? Let's face it, they're cheaper, like for like, for a per terabyte, you do save about 20 to 30 pounds going for a regular hard drive over a NAS hard drive. So why not fully populate your four bay with regular hard drives and thereby put that money either in your pocket or onto a bigger, better NAS? Well, the difference between them are as follows. First and foremost, NAS hard drives are designed to be on for greater lengths of time. Standard hard drives are designed for booting up a machine and powering it down, whereas NAS devices are left on 24-7. They can be left on for weeks, if not months at a time. Don't believe me? Why don't you have a look at the NAS that you've got at home or speak to someone that's got a NAS and look at the uptime. You've probably had that device on for days, if not weeks, without powering it down or for an update. Now, a regular hard drive is not designed for that kind of use. It's not designed to be on for that sustained length of time. The temperature sensors, the vibration, or the noise, all those things are not designed in a normal hard drive, but it is designed for a boot up and boot down architecture. Whereas a NAS hard drive, because it's meant to be on that great length of time, it has greater sensors for vibration, greater sensors for temperature, and more. Also, the firmware on these drives is changed too. Any hard drive you buy it has firmware built into it. It has a set of instructions and codes and behavioral patterns built into the drive for different circumstances. And with a desktop hard drive, those rules are different to a NAS because of the intended purpose. The result being, if you put a NAS hard drive in a regular PC, it may not behave in the way that you want, or it's tremendous overkill because the drive will never be pushed. Now, one of the other big Big ways in which these two drives are different is to do with RAID, random array of independent disks, or random array of inexpensive disks, depending on when you were born. Now, if you put regular hard drives in a RAID array, it will not be as stable as NAS hard drives, because NAS hard drives have been designed to be in multitudes, to racks or desktop devices that have a series of multiple disks and drives. We have a look at this Acer store I have over here. This is a two-bay NAS device. Now this two-bay NAS device here, um, you put two drives inside and you can raid them together or you can raid them independently of one another. When you do that, the result is, as put that there so you can see it, that the two drives are protecting each other from hardware failure. So if one of those disk drives dies, the second drive can pick up the slack. And that's one of the main ways in which RAID protects you. 
But if you're utilizing drives that are not designed for a RAID environment, the result is that if one of those drives fails, it can impact the other, or that the rigidity and ruggedness of your hardware protection is already compromised by drives not designed for RAID. Now, if you move beyond the two disk analogy and you go more into three, four, five, and six hard drives, then that problem gets multiplied. Now, on the subject of RAID arrays, it is worth mentioning, and again, this is not a con, but NAS hard drives and indeed desktop hard drives do arrive in pro versions. And again, you might be thinking, oh, pro sounds like executive or business class, and it all sounds like a con. It's really not, because so, uh, the desktop hard drive you see there, if you're gonna stick that in your PC for a bit of gaming, compare that with the hard drives that you're going to be put inside a large scale um, backup device that needs to last for years for intense speeds and indeed intense pressures. And the same thing goes for NAS hard drives. Typical NAS hard drives are designed for uh, NAS devices with between four and eight bays. The minute you exceed that, it is highly advised that you go for a Pro Series drive. In the case of both Pro Series drives, they arrive with longer warranties at five years, larger speeds at 7200 RPM, bigger caches at around 256 megabits of cache and a more rugged design and it's better for controlling the temperature and indeed the vibration of a larger RAID array and that just goes for the NAS drive. For the typical standard professional hard series drive that means that drive is going to take a serious amount of read and write. If you look at my video about comparing the WD series you'll know about surveillance drives and the fact surveillance drives are designed for a larger amount of um, write then they are read. That is to say, our camera's gonna put more footage on than you're actually gonna watch. So tailored hard drives do exist, and NAS hard drives and typical hard drives are just not a con. It's about having tailored tools to work more efficiently. So if you wanna learn more, do visit my article down there in the comments and in the description to nascompares.com. And if you wanna learn more, or have enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe. Support this channel, keep it going. I want to help you, so you help me. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheerio.